Ladies and gentlemen, this is your awesome host with the most here. It is Team Mara here. Listeners, how are you doing on this spectacular Wednesday's edition? I am doing very fine, like a bowl of wine. They just say expression I just made up. But anyway, let's get this party started. And it is introduction time. I will discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and whatever I feel like disgusting. I don't know if I said the right proper word. My bad. But anywho, I will do that. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab something to eat, grab something to drink. Now if you want to do nothing like that, maybe you just want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts and opinions on this certain matter. Let's roll it. Now, if you watched Raw this past Monday night, or you um, heard it from Twitter or Facebook, that Stephen McMahon, for the first time ever in WWE history, they're going to have an all-women's pay-per-view the end of October, and they will call it Evolution. You may know about this, you may not, but TNA did it first before W. There you go, W. You like always like to copy off of TNA, but whatever. Now, some people, when they found out about this news, are very bitter because in their eyes, they don't think Arena is gonna sell out. I agree with the people who said that. But W wants to make history. The very first elimination chamber, women's Hell in a Cell, uh, main event Raw, in a while, um, and all that stuff. Money in the Bank and Royal Rumble. They're gonna bring, they're gonna break every thing that men's did. You know. Now I think this is a good thing, or it could be a bad thing. You know. I'm gonna do definitely gonna tune in because I am a W fan. A lot of you give up on the product a long time ago. Now, I don't know who's going to be there. They said from the past, the future, and now. So uh, hopefully we're going to see some legends like Lita, Trish, maybe Victoria, Melina, if they ask her. So the reason I want to bring this up, and I'm not saying her name because I will totally screw up her name, so I apologize. It is Dean Ambrose's wife. Now, are you serious? Maybe she just want to troll the internet fans has he she ever compete in the square circle absolutely not maybe her husband's going to train her to compete um from my point of view give it someone who deserves the spot in my opinion i have nothing to do i mean i have nothing against her but she has nothing she is not she never wrestled in the, her w career you know what i'm saying i might be in a a pig uh, I'm not being, um, I'm just tell it how it is, you know, you know, so I prefer, in my opinion, have the women who ha has been trained all their wrestling career in a score circle, you know what I'm saying, all their life, all their life, like Trish, Lita, maybe they could bring back the return of Sable, but probably she would turn it down in a heartbeat, so I don't know, I I think she just blown smoke and let people discuss about it, this matter. So if it happens, it happens. Now I guarantee it, if Miss Elizabeth was still around, alive, I guarantee she would still be here. But she never wrestled either. She was just a manager, you know? Just put the women who actually compete. Don't put the women, in my opinion, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. Don't put any women who's um, a manager, but probably they can put everyone's in there. Like NXT, so probably a few of them, and then um, um, women from the past, the present, and current. Hopefully it's going to be a good show. I don't know what kind of matches they're going to have. Um, I'm surprised it's not overseas. It's, it's a local area, so that is good. I don't know when the tickets go on sale, so if you're going to... If you live in the area or going to 
come go out of your way for this event. Let me know if you're gonna go to this event or not. It's gonna be worth watching on pay per view or on W Network. Are you gonna skip this thing? I'm gonna watch it regardless. I know it's during uh, NFL football season, but I'm still gonna watch it. It's it's gonna be on Sunday night anyway, so probably it's not gonna be a good NFL matchup regardless. I'll watch back and forth that after um, the network. So it's going to be a special call, Evolution. Now, why cannot Stephanie come up with a different name? That name, you may know or may not know, that is when Triple H had Randy Orton himself, uh, Ric Flair, and Batista call Evolution. So it is the same freaking name, but this time it is a women's Evolution. So... I think they just say, what I can just call like a super show of women or I don't know, but Evolutions is kind of corny in my opinion. They should come up with a different name. I don't know if Stephanie really came up with the name or the creators told her what to say on, on Raw. I thought she was going to have a, a non, another announcement is for the first time ever in W history, we're going to have a tag team belts for the Raw Women's Division, but I guess that's just rumor. Maybe there'll be another, a big announcement. Now, speaking of the announcement, it took forever her uh, to stop talking, her and Triple H. Well, well, McMahon said a little bit. I feel like, what, 15 or 20 minutes? Jesus, you guys waste so much freaking time. Freaking God, Lee, you know? And the lady says, come on, you know? They had a they had a men and they had a women and the w women just step up, and the men are very proud of her, of the women. But some of the ladies cannot compete; they suck. Like Alicia Fox, you know, the ones that are really legit could really perform, in my opinion. Sasha Banks, she's really legit, you know, because legit boss. She's a great performer, Charlotte Flair, and I'm sur I don't know if she was there Monday night. I don't know why he, I think they have some people from SmackDown Live, but not everybody. Um, I guarantee that Paige is probably disappointed that she can't compete because of her injury. It happens. So, what do you think about this article? Actually, I'll give you guys the article and her reply on t Twitter. I'll give you guys the, the link. You guys can read the article and you guys got to read um, the Twitter response from her. Would you guys like to see her in a square circle? I cannot really picture it, but once again, probably her husband is going to train her. If you guys don't know, she married to Dean Ambrose. He has not been on television for quite some time now. I'm assuming he's going to come back anytime now. He's itching to come back probably. So this is good for WWE in a women's history for WWE. Now, I don't know if they're going to sell, the, sell out the arena. My, my guess is absolutely not. I don't know if it's going to be a big arena like they do for Money Bank or TLC, you know. It's all about making money, you know. If it's not a sellout crowd, I guarantee W is not going to do this again. I don't know if TNA uh, event sell out for the event. Let me know. Let me know down below for the TNA knockout whenever that ever happened. Was that a good show or not? Let me know. I could check it out on YouTube. Anyway, that's just my opinion, my thoughts. If you don't like it, I understand. Probably a lot of you are going to give me a thumbs down on the matter. So like, subscribe, leave a comment. Hit the subscribe. Hit the notification. Hit the like. And leave a comment about the article only. And don't judge me because the way I do things on this YouTube channel. This is the host here. Is going to sign off right out now.